Hi everybody and welcome to Admissionado's Insider's Guide to Judge. My name is Jeroen Dehan. I'm an Admissionado consultant. I have been for five years now. Um, yeah, let's get started. So before we get we get into talking about Judge, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the European MBA program, how it's different from a US MBA program, how it's the same. Um, all right, so the first Big difference is that most European MBA programs are only one year long as opposed to two, which is cool. You get in and you get out for one year with similar or the same results. Um, you pay a lot of mo less money out of pocket. And uh, yeah, basically you're out for in a year. Pretty good. Good deadlines is the second thing. Uh, not that American programs don't have good deadlines. They do, of course. But good in the sense that we're all probably always running a little bit late and the European deadlines tend to be later in the year than the US deadline. So you can still find programs to apply to and not the last round in January, February, March, April, which makes it awesome for um, applicants who are a little bit late in the game. Let's say you decided to, uh, to apply a little bit late or something happened, you lost your job or you decided you wanted to go into st into a startup and, and start that immediately or for the family business or whatever whatever reason you have. So really, really good deadlines. can also be a good backup plan um, if you're uh, planning on building a strategy to apply to U.S. schools and let's say you prefer to go to U.S. schools, um, but you can, there's some, of course, amazing programs in Europe, so you can kind of uh, plan to apply to some U.S. schools in round one or round one and round two or just round two and then uh, apply to European schools a little bit later, which is kind of cool. Um, so good backup plan. Um, okay, the next thing, which actually maybe should have been the first thing, is uh, what's unique about a European MBA program is, of course, that it's in Europe. Um, so if you want to work in Europe, uh, there's nothing better. Uh, obviously, Europe is not just one little country, but lots of different countries with different languages, different cultures, as we all know. So uh, not only do you get job opportunities in all of Europe, but you get job opportunities in the country where the school is located, which is only natural. Uh, but besides that, besides getting a job in Europe or in the country where the school is located, um, European programs tend to be much, much more international than uh, US programs. So somehow it makes sense to go to European program if you wanted to work in Asia or Africa or Latin America more than a US program. And we'll have a look at that in a wee bit. So um, that's really cool. Other amazing thing about Europe, and this is something that I personally like, uh, you know, having lived in four European countries, uh, although I'm originally from New York. So, you know, opportunity to learn a new language or new immerse yourself in a new culture um, besides the, uh, you know, just fun and human pleasure of doing this, it can also be something that's really fantastic for building your career. So pretty good also. And the last thing, uh, which is linked to uh, the, jo the international jobs, is that the programs are really, really global and really, really diverse um, with students that come from all over the place um, and much in a much more extreme manner than U.S. schools. Although, of course, there's some fantastically diverse programs in the U.S. as well. So, uh, one of the big selling points of uh, these European programs is that, um, well, they're not necessarily cheap, but they are cheap because you finish in one year. So if you take a look at tuition plus opportunity costs for two years, that makes sense. It's a little bit more double than, or a little bit less, sorry, than double uh, what it costs for one year. So you can, just to take an example, Sloan and INSEAD, we have some numbers here, Sloan, uh, it'll take, it'll cost you a bit more than $300,000 and INSEAD $170,000. So, um, you know, it, basically if you don't have so much money or if you don't want to spend so much on business school or whatever your reasons are, basically your return on your investment is, uh, uh potentially better. So, how global are the MBA programs? Let's take an example of what I was talking about before, about the diversity of European uh, programs. Um, Harvard, uh, international students, international faculty, international board, you can see these numbers. Uh, 
again, changes from year to year, of course, but uh, um, between 35, 40% is about normal for, for Harvard or for, for U.S. schools, actually, in general. And judge, we're having, we see numbers at about 90, 92, 95%, again, changing from year to year. Um, I think these numbers are actually a little bit old, and this last year was uh, 95% in international students. So that's pretty, pretty big difference there. Not only do people come from different places all over the world, but they also go to work in different places all over the world. So taking a look at Harvard, we see the large majority of uh, folks staying in the U.S. or Canada also, uh, a bunch going to Europe, and then you know just a few going elsewhere. Whereas uh, we take a look at uh, judges' numbers, we see 49% uh, in Europe all over with 32% in the U.K. and 17% on continental Europe. 30% uh, in Asia, so this is illustrating what I was talking about before, that you know if you really have an international goal, European programs are fantastic, even if you don't necessarily want to work in Europe. So plenty of people go back to the, or go to the U.S. as well, 14% with finding jobs in North America, also kind of makes sense, you know, uh, neighbors across the pond, as we say, so, you know, plus the English language and all that. Um, and uh, jobs also in Africa, Middle East, Australia, Latin America. So really people are going everywhere after their studies from Judge. <laughs> Let's have a look also at some of Europe's top programs. There are more, of course, but these are some of the ones that you will probably hear about the most. Um, although if you are specifically interested in uh, working in a specific country, let's say you say, okay, I know I want to go do a MBA in Germany because whatever, personal reasons, professional reasons, job opportunities, or if you want to go to France, there are many more schools that you should consider. So uh, based on location, but let's start, take a look at the ones with the um, best international prestige, let's call it that. So in France, you have INSEAD and HEC, Spain, Instituto Impresa, IESC, ESADA, England, LBS, Oxford, Cambridge, and then Warwick and Manchester. Uh, in other countries, you have IMD in Switzerland, Rotterdam in the Netherlands, Bocconi in Italy, and Mannheim in Germany. So I try to choose a school that would be representative for many of the main MBA destinations. But like I said, if you have uh, more ideas about, more specific ideas about your goals, you can always ask us and we can uh, advise you a little bit more. So let's talk about Judge. Beautiful, 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 beautiful campus. Uh, which it should be because Judge was founded in, oh, I forget exact, not Judge, sorry, Cambridge was founded in 12-something, I forget exactly exactly when, but one of the oldest universities in the world and uh, in Europe, of course. So, Judge, business the English way. What is unique about Judge other than the royal family, of course, which has nothing to do with Judge, but uh, and cup of tea, but that's the English way, yeah? So, what's unique about Judge? Big emphasis on high tech and entrepreneurship. Um, Cambridge is located, or I should say started in a certain sense, uh, the Silicon Fen, meaning the Silicon Fen is a, an area of uh, high, clustering of high tech companies, uh, like the Silicon Valley, but being English, it would be the Fen. Um, so kind of which massed around uh, Cambridge. So lots of really good opportunities, jobs, uh, partners uh, in this area. You have in Cambridge a collegiate system. So besides um, being a part of the business school, uh, everybody belongs to a college uh, and you have a good opportunity to network or to make friends or to just experience not only just the business school, so you're not isolated. Yeah, You have the entire Cambridge University, which being such a fabulous uh, and prestigious place you know, you have talks by presidents, prime ministers, uh, heads of the UN, uh, uh, super famous businessmen, uh, and so on and so forth. So really to kind of immerse yourself in the, the Cambridge culture. Um, Cambridge is not being far from London, so you also have proximity and good links to London, let's say, uh, not just for the finance hub, although it's a, a very good reason for going to judge, but also just to the city, so you know, going out and all that. Also, it can be a lot of fun and jobs, uh, but you're also very good for finance people. 
very nice small intimate program of about 150 students every year. So if that's your thing, definitely take a think about uh, Judge. Older and more experienced class, uh, average age around 29, 30, and about seven years of experience. So if you fit into that, or even if you don't, you can, you can see how, how that works for you. A very international class, 95%, with one-third of the students coming from Asia, which can explain uh, some of these uh, good statistics of people why so many people go on to work in Asia afterwards. Uh, they have a really good connection uh, with the Asian job market. And uh, the school offers eight concentrations to choose from, so you can also focus a little bit uh, on your specialization and your goals. And, of course, it is one of the top three MBA programs in the UK, with Oxford Said and LBS being the other two. Who is the Judge MBA? Strong in consulting, energy, and high tech. So Judge is the beating heart of the Silicon Fen, home to 1,000 businesses in tech and biomed, with 250 or over 250 startups originating from Cambridge, from the university itself. So really in the heart of things. Uh, Judge boasts a fantastic placement rate of 97%, so no worries about getting a job. It's just a question of which wonderful job you will choose from, uh, with recruiters from Amazon, BP, Boston Consulting Group, Google, McKinsey, so kind of uh, all the usual suspects. Um, older and more experienced, as we uh, mentioned before, so average age 29, 30, uh, average years of experience is seven. And it's a very good place, uh, naturally, if you are looking for a job in the UK or even working internationally elsewhere. So full one-third of judge graduates end up working in the UK and 45% uh, change their country of work, meaning the country from, they work in a different country from, where, from which they came from. So what are our application tips? How, how can you make yourself a better application to get into judge? First, show judge your love. So one of the things that can really hit home on your application is to show a bit of love. Uh, if you can get across your interest and passion for the school or better yet convince them that you will attend if they accept you, this can help your, your chances of getting, of getting in. Uh, why specifically for judge? Um, because it's a program that's kind of has been moving up or moving around on the rankings and really is trying to build its pro its profile and prestige. Of course, Cambridge is mega prestige, but Judge, being a little bit younger, uh, doesn't hasn't yet reached the levels of prestige. Of, let's say a, a tier one U.S. business school such as Harvard or something like that, and they're building on that. So they're working very hard to build their uh, classes in a, in a very. Uh, unique manner. They're working very hard to uh, increase the yield, which is one thing that will help them also uh, go up in their ranking. So if you kind of uh, show that, that you're really interested in going there, hopefully that you really are, uh, it should be a real love and a real passion, um, then you will probably increase your chances of getting it. Um, be different. Besides your amazing, amazing business background, show judge what else you have that makes you unique. They're looking for mold breakers, but also a kind of general intelligence and general culture, kind of something that will show you how you fit into this overall uh, university and collegiate system, besides just being super focused on business. Um, play up your internationalism, both in your past and your goals. This is uh, applies to every single European MBA program, given that they are so international uh, in terms of who comes in, how they structure themselves, and how basically their outlook on the world. So um, fit into that. Fit your goals with the school strength, strengths. So tech, health, finance, and, uh, and entrepreneurship are the big industries. Uh, if you fit into one of these industries, um, it will be a lot easier to explain why you've chosen uh, uh, judge. Although, of course, you could apply with any goals whatsoever, uh, just like in any, any business school. But it's, if you do fit, definitely use that to your advantage. Um, next tip would be to show your understanding of judge's place in the greater Cambridge University and in its location. So uh, how you fit with Cambridge, uh, how you fit uh, with the Cambridge location, with its proximity to London, the, the Silicon Fen, as I mentioned before, and so on and so forth. So this is another uh, good argument uh, that you can place in your uh, place in your application if it fits you. If you have leadership experience, wahoo! Uh, 
does English say Wahoo? I think that's very American. It sounds like a cowboy kind of thing, but um, yippee would be the English equivalent, I think. Uh, yeah, that works. So that's really good. If you have um, international uh, leadership experience, then you get a double yippee there. So bottom line, Judge's MBA program is a fantastic choice for those who wish to work in Europe, especially in the UK. It is especially strong in high-tech entrepreneurship health and finance, and Judge's one-year program will get you back out on the market one year sooner. So you see all these happy folks just throwing their hats up in the air with joy because they didn't have to pay a lot of money, or, well, they had to pay a lot, but a lot less somehow. So I hope this uh, introduction uh, to Judge and to European business schools in general has been informative, useful, and fun for you. If you have your eyes on European programs and you have any other questions, just drop us a line. We'd be very, very happy to answer your questions and to advise you on whatever you need. It's been uh, great speaking to you today, and I hope you check out our other European uh, school videos and our other uh, fantastic blog posts and uh, videos and other informative information on the internet. Visit our website, admissionauto.com, and it's been great speaking to you. So take care, have a nice day, and a lovely week, month, year, decade, century. Take care.